Well, good morning, guys. So obviously I've been doing some content here lately with the new 2022 Nissan Frontier. And so there's a lot of people who have come to the channel who want to see the Nissan um, information, I guess you would say. And so I think it's only prudent that I bring to you <laughs> some information that has come out publicly. And uh, I don't know if a lot of people know about this yet, but there is a huge recall that has been issued on 2020 through 2022 Frontiers and Titan pickup trucks. Basically, it's the pickup trucks that have the nine-speed transmission. Um, so this recall is a pretty big deal for Nissan, and it could be a pretty big deal for those of us who already have the trucks. So let's just kind of go over what's going on here. So first of all, this recall covers 2022 Frontiers, like you see here, the D41 uh, pickups. It also covers the D40 pickups in 2020 and 2021 models. Okay, so basically it's the Nissan Frontiers that have the 3.8 V6 and the 9-speed automatic transmission. Um, now the Titan pickups from 2020 through 2022, the A61 pickups, they also have the nine speed transmission. So they're covered by this also. In total, there are 180,176 Nissan pickup trucks that are under this recall. So that's a pretty big recall. And the re really bad thing about it for Nissan is that this Frontier has moved into the number two position in sales. I mean, this thing is red hot right now. Uh, they're selling these things like hotcakes, or they were. Unfortunately, this recall is such a big deal that it also comes with a stop sale order, which means that any of these Frontier pickups or Titan pickups that are still at dealerships right now cannot be sold. And uh, from the numbers that I'm seeing, there are 3,133 Frontier pickups like this estimated in dealer inventory right now across the country that can't be sold. So if you're shopping one of these Frontiers right now and you found one at a dealership that you really love, you cannot buy it or lease it right now. They can't let you have it at this point in time until Nissan comes out with a fix for this issue. <clears throat> it says that there are 1,230 Titan pickup trucks that are also in inventory that can't be sold. So what exactly is the problem? Well, the recall has to do with the Paul, P-A-W-L, the little Paul that's inside the transmission. You know, that's how automatic transmissions have worked for years and years and years. You put it in park and that Paul engages and locks everything down. Well, because of a small tolerance defect during the manufacturing process, the Paul, the parking Paul inside these transmissions might not engage all the way. And so it's very possible that you could put the truck in park and you think that it's locked down and it's not going to move, but it's actually not in park. It's not fully engaged and you don't have any way to know that until the vehicle rolls away. So obviously that's a really big deal that could potentially cause injuries or fatalities. Uh, Nissan's not the only company that's had to deal with this type of thing. We've seen Ford, you know, fighting that issue with some vehicles. We've seen uh, some Jeeps that had rollaway issues and in in a subsequent recall. So this isn't a brand new thing that we've never seen before, uh, but unfortunately it has stricken Nissan. And so these transmissions, these non-speed transmissions in the pickup trucks are now under recall. Um, like I said, the ones that are at the dealerships can't be sold until there's a fix. Nissan says that the fix is expected to be available in the fall. So as of right now, we are going into the latter part of July. We're right in the middle of summer. And so they're expecting a few more months before they can get a fix out for this, which is not good for them because like I just said, these trucks are like hotcakes. I mean, they're selling like crazy. And now they're forced to let these things sit on the lots and uh, not be able to sell them. Uh, what a bummer for them. Well, what about guys like me who had just got one of these trucks? Like I just brought this thing home last month. What about us, you know? Well, what they're telling people is every single time that you park this truck, set the parking brake. And I guess, you know, some people might say, well, you should be doing that anyway. 
But let's be honest, how many people set the park brake every time you park the truck if you've got an automatic transmission? Almost nobody. I mean, you go to Walmart, you go to Lowe's, you go to the grocery store, whatever, you pull into the parking lot, you put it in park, and you go in the store, right? Nobody sets the parking brake every single time. In fact, if you use the parking brake every single time you park the truck, you'll wear out that cable, you know, the, the cable and all the assembly for the parking brake. That stuff doesn't last forever. It'll get stretched. You'll end up having them, you know, basically replace that as a maintenance item on a regular basis. And nobody really wants to fool with that. So people just generally don't do that. But on this particular truck at this time, you need to be doing that because that's what they're telling people to do. You don't want to take a chance on this thing rolling away on you. So if you've already got one of these new Frontiers or the new Titan with the nine-speed transmission, when you park the truck, you need to be setting the parking brake. Now, like I said, there's 180,000, a little bit more than 180,000 of these trucks that are affected. And uh, we don't know yet what the fix is going to be. Nissan says that they are actively working on a fix, and we don't know exactly what that is going to entail. Now, since it's a mechanical issue, you wouldn't assume that they're going to be able to fix that with a software update. So probably they're going to have to, uh, you know, best case scenario maybe they can pop the cover off and maybe there's access to that parking pole and they can do some minor tweaks to it and get it to where it will work properly like the one that's already installed on your truck will be able to then function properly for the for the remainder of the life of the vehicle uh, that's probably best case scenario worst case scenario maybe they start replacing full transmissions i don't know yet they haven't said yet all that Nissan tells us is that they are actively working on a fix right now. And they expect that here in just a few months, fall of 22, that they will have that available and the dealers can start uh, at that point to fix trucks. I'm sure that they'll probably fix the trucks they've got in inventory first because they want to get those trucks sold as soon as possible. Uh, so that's probably what they will do. But then, of course, owners... Uh, who will be getting these recall notices in the mail any time now, by the way, uh, will then be able to go to the dealership at that point and get their truck fixed. So anyway, just FYI on that, if you have a new Titan or a new Frontier like this with a nine-speed transmission, it is under recall more than likely, unless it was just built within the last few weeks. I think the ones built in the month of July may not be affected. Um, I think Nissan may not have those specific ones, but that's just a small number of trucks um, under this recall. If your truck was built before July of 2022, you're probably under this recall and you should be getting a notice pretty soon. So anyway, enough rambling about that. I just wanted to let you know about that because I haven't really seen a lot of mainstream news about that yet, but it is a big deal because this is a potential safety issue that could really hurt or kill people. I mean, you just saw me pulling the boat to the lake last weekend with my truck. Um, you know, when you're on a boat ramp, I mean, that's kind of a sketchy situation anyway. What if your truck rolls away while you're on the boat ramp? You know, then you could lose your boat, your trailer, your truck. You could uh, run over people. Uh, somebody could drown. I mean, this, that's a bad deal. It's just a very, very, very serious situation, basically. And so it's no wonder that they have issued a stop sale on these trucks. Um, so make sure you're using your parking brake and when they become, uh, when they, when they say that a fix has become available and they let us know exactly what they're going to do, then I'll try to bring that info to you and give you an update on that uh, as soon as I can find out. But right now that's kind of all we know. Um, it's unfortunate. Uh, I'm sure Nissan hates it because they've been selling these trucks like crazy. I'm sure they're not happy about it either, but in the automotive industry, that's just kind of the way it goes sometimes. You know, like I said, Nissan's not the only company that's dealt with this issue. Um, it just kind of is what it is, but they will get it fixed. I'm, I'm confident they're going to get it fixed ASAP. So hang in there, guys. Thanks for watching.